Welcome back to another Real Talk Reaction. This one is a brand new show selected by you guys. This one is Arrested Development, Season 1, Episode Number 1. Yes, if you want to take part in recommending, taking part in our polls, or mm -hmm. just being part of the whole process of us uh, introducing new shows and new movies, be sure to check out our Patreon account where you can also drop your recommendations, yeah. weigh on the polls, and also gain access to full reactions of these shows. But let's get into Arrested Development, Season 1, Episode 1, right now. And not before, and not after, but only until you like, subscribe, and hit that notification button. We're going to stay right here until you do it. Like, this is Michael Bluth. Make sure you watch it. For 10 years, he's worked for his father's company, waiting to be made a partner. And right now... He's happy. This is Michael's mother. Look what they've done, Michael. She isn't happy. Look what the homosexuals have done to me. Uh, you can't just comb that out and race seven? Currently, she's that upset. Out Her seven. husband's <laughs> retirement party is being upstaged by a group of gay protesters. Everything they do is so dramatic and flamboyant. It just makes me want to set myself on fire. But they're dramatic and flamboyant. But all homosexuals are flamboyant. Oh my god, I have the exact same blouse. This is Michael's twin sister. Oh my Lindsay. gosh! I didn't know she was in this. Love him. As a youthful act of defiance, Lindsay married this man. They moved to Boston, where they've become celebrated for their wine and cheese fundraisers. Oh no, completely stopped. Michael and his sister haven't spoken in a year. Neither has acknowledged this. And this is Joe. Michael's oldest brother. So, this is the magic trick, huh? Illusion, Michael. Mm, trick is something a whore does for money. A whore does for money. <laughs> or can be. Joe recently started the Alliance of Magicians, an organization that blackballs any performer who reveals a magician's secret. And finally, there's Buster. Hey, Buster. The youngest of Michael's siblings. Yeah. You know, you don't need to do that, buddy. It's okay. Thanks to the family's largesse, Buster has studied everything from Native American tribal ceremonies to cartography, the map of uncharted territories. But we're cousins. That's what makes it funny. But isn't it against the law? Come on, George Michael. Tobias, now believing the boat party to be pirate themed, well, like began searching through his wife's luggage for an outfit. I should say so. Look at the blouse, sir. Then, mistaking a group of garishly dressed men for pirates, Tobias boarded a van full of homosexuals. Oh my oh, god, he is! That's why it's her blouse. <laughs> that's why it's her blouse. Against the local yeah. Oh my god, I have the exact same blouse. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I might get better on him. And Michael's big moment finally came. I give you the new CEO for the Bluth Company. Certainly the smartest Bluth. My favorite Bluth. And the uh, sexiest creature I have ever laid eyes on. His what? My lovely wife, Lucy. Yep. Wow. Oh my god. Wow. <laughs> That was not supposed to happen. Sorry, it's not the right time. Not the right time. Devastation. Oh, look at the lighting. This is great news. <laughs> Where do we know her from? Where's she short hair? That's not the girl from the Harrison Ford movie. Hey. You okay? You and I, we've waited long enough. It's time to move on. Alright? I guess we're gonna see you guys even less now. I told you we should have taught them a lesson. Let's see. Watching this picture. Come on. Alright, let's see some smiles, people. It's a, it's a party, not a shareholders meeting. Those police boats. No, I'm serious. I, I think they are police boats. Prepare to be boarded. Prepare to be boarded. 
Oh, are you a boss against the wall? Yeah, well, we just saw how much they were using the drama. Protesting the yacht club's discriminatory policies. Even Michael's brother Job made the news. It was Mr. Blue's son Gob, a part-time magician, who hit his father here in the afternoon too. By pushing on this pivoting panel, the alliance is going to frown on this. Perhaps a good trick for a human, but the dogs found him almost instantly. I'll make you disappear. Oh, what an adventure. Oh my goodness. Buster? Don't do that. What an adventure, gang. Oh, I thought that the homosexuals were pirates, but it turns out that most of them were actors in the local theater. Theater? <laughs> You're right, though. It is amazing. I, I've been waiting for the universe to provide a path You're right, though. It is amazing. And I think it has. You're gay. No. No. I'm not, I'm not gay. No. Let's see how many times must we have this. No. I want to be an actor. How many times must okay. we have this kind of guys, um, They are going to keep Dad in prison at least until this gets all sorted out. Also, the attorney said that they're going to have to put a halt in the company's expense account. <gasps> Interesting. I would have expected that after they're keeping Dad in jail. You know, my Dad did name Mom as his successor. And I'm putting Buster in charge. It's a good choice. Buster? The guy who thought that the blue on the map was land? He's had business cards. Oh, well, 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 well. <laughs> Oh, I didn't even catch that. Yeah, I didn't even like. Okay, so all the blue is wrong. Uh, yeah, you're all concerned about an uprising. Okay, that's it. I'm done. I'm sick and tired of the greed and and the selfishness and all the taking. Forget. It. I got a son to think about. And you know, Lindsay. By the way, I expected this from them because they're completely oblivious. But you, you should know better. In the days that followed, Lindsay had no choice but to check her family out of the hotel earlier than planned. All of those. And her husband started looking for work. My name is Dr. Tobias Fjunke. I was chief resident of psychiatry at Mass General for two years, and I did my fellowship in psycholinguistics at MIT. And this is I'm a Bad Bad Man from Annie Get Your Gun. Lucille was finding it difficult to go about her daily life. He is making him out to be some kind of mastermind, which believe me, he's not. The man can barely work our shredder. Michael was able to secure a job with a rival housing company almost immediately. We'll set you up in Arizona in one of our finest estates. Attic or main house. <laughs> oh my god, babe. And Buster was discovering his academic pursuits didn't fully prepare him for his new responsibilities. Now, Lindsay, I'm sad. I'm trying to cry. I'm trying to cry. Got the JDL on my ass. JDL? Jewish Defense League. Oh, the circumcision Jewish thing. This is why I was against hoop. Why don't you just mind your own business? Oh, this is why I didn't call you, Michael, because you're so judgmental. No, I'm, I'm not judgmental. And you're disappointed in me. I'm not disappointed in you. You are. So I'm disappointed in you. Come on, I'm not disappointed about my life. My dad didn't give me the promotion. Dad's in jail. How disappointing is that? So we're a disappointing family. We're an incredibly disappointing family. But we are family. And I want my son to be happy. So maybe we should be in each other's lives. I'd like that. Yeah. Seriously, you're gonna pull a muscle. I used to be able to do this. I used to be able to do this. You can't even grab me. <laughs> and try to save the family. <laughs> I didn't get first time ever, answer. he gathered his family together in the model home. Dad was always bankers. There's no beating him. You didn't start me up on those get out of jail free cards. Good one, Jeff Michael. Yes. What is with him? Why did he give her massages? You guys didn't have to go so soon. Oh, on that subject, these guys are actually going to be staying with us for a while. Just your aunt and your husband, not Joe. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. What the hell, huh? Family first, 
right? It is going to be a little crowded though, so I think you're going to have to share a room with your cousin. <laughs> On the next, arrest they're going to need to address that. Yeah. George Michael gets a new roommate. It was really your brother we were interested in. I mean, you don't even have any references. <laughs> Is that enough of a reference for you? And Michael finds it difficult to get his father out of jail. You. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, that was the uh, season premiere of Arrested Development, episode one. And, hey, I like it, man. I like where we're going. I like, you know, 90% of these characters over here, I love anyway, till to this day. Michael Sarah. Uh, uh, Bateman all day long, um, even Batman, the Lego Batman guy, the musician Joe, all day. Those three right there, yeah, that was my top ones. And I know they might be introducing some more people later on uh, in the show, but for right now, I mean, I can see how this show is probably going to get better and better on there. The ensemble is crazy, um, the setup is crazy, they're all super rich, oblivious crazy then you got jason bateman in there who's probably going to be the only grounded person in right. there with the heavy heavy sarcasm which is going to be really really good as, as only he can do as the best he can so i just can't wait to see how we're about to get into it but a good opening quickly introduced us to everybody and now i, I can't wait to see how it go from there yeah i'm curious to know if like the narration was simply be to set up this episode or if that's something that's going to uh play out. Um, special like shout out to William who like text us and DM'd us just to inform us about watching the end credit scenes because like had you not messaged that, that Click. totally felt like a setup. Yeah. Yep. They were like, can't watch that. That's gonna so so glad you mentioned that. And it was like literally today when I read it. So appreciate that heads up yeah, as far as setting that up. Yeah. Um, and then I'm not going to speak too much about the episode. I think you said everything brilliantly, and I agreed with everything that you said. But I would like to pose a question to you guys like we do anytime we're starting a season. Is there, like, a waiting period? Like, is there, you know, does it take it, you know, 12 episodes until we get to the good stuff? Or, like, what's your ultimate takeaways as far as yeah. the pacing of the show? I think yeah. all those comments always help to set the expectations a little bit better for RJ and I. So I would definitely love for you guys to comment on that aspect. But mm -hmm. I'm excited. I absolutely adore Jason Bateman. Sarcasm is my yeah. cup of tea. Um, and I can't wait to see. And this is such a young uh, Bateman, too. He's Damn so Michael young. Sarah. I know. Michael Sarah's a yeah. baby. Um, so I'm, it'll be interesting to see who they were and what kind of characters they were so, so young in their careers yeah, yeah. because I know them so much more later on in their careers so it's just it's, it's very different so this is like when they were still getting their feet wet so mm -hmm, to speak mm -hmm. um, but yeah I think it'd be great for you guys to comment as far as like what we can expect from like uh, getting their uh, getting their pacing and all of yeah, that. I yeah. think that always helps set expectations uh, from us on our end. So I'm excited. I can't wait to see the next episode. And thank you guys again for yep. voting this one through. All right. Well, look, thank you guys again for watching another Real Talk reaction for Arrested Development, season one, episode number one. And until next time, people, peace.